What's up guys, Viper V here, and today we have this Speedy B Adapter 2. Uh, this is a new improved version of the original one. Um, so we're gonna do an, go ahead and do an unboxing and uh, tell you all about this awesome little product that you do not have to anymore use a laptop or PC when you go out to the field. You can just use your phone to flash, flash your B-Heli ESCs. I believe it only works on B-Heli S at the time. Um, but this is a little instruction manual it comes with. Uh, you can either do 1S to 6S LiPos, or you can go ahead and uh, use a PH 2.0 connector that's located on the bottom, along with an XT60. Uh, that comes in this nice little plastic case, opposed to the original one, which was just a PCB. Um, this does use Wi-Fi, uh, so it's a lot more robust and should be able to get a better connection uh, between your phone or your tablet, opposed to the Bluetooth connection that I found was real tricky and had a lot of problems. Uh, so the way you will go ahead and connect this, you just connect it to the bottom one right there, like so. Um, and you can also connect this other one to the top, and this nice little travel. You can put it in your bag, you don't have to worry about messing up your USB uh, plugs. Nice and handy. Now I want to show you guys this one right here. This is the old version. This is using Bluetooth. And uh, you can see I have a piece of my flight controller actually on this. This is really susceptible to getting damaged because it's like a lever. And you push pressure on there or your battery on the end, and it can really mess it up. So I can connect this portion to the USB on my flight controller. We already plugged in the battery. We have a blinky light. And then once we plug in the bottom one right there, we'll connect that in. And we should be able to go ahead and get it connected onto our phone. Once I can figure out how to put the USB in there. All right, so now we have a solid green light and we're all set up there. So let's go ahead and jump into the app and show you guys everything that you can configure on this SpeedyB app. So now you can either flash your Betaflight or Emu flight uh, flight controllers. And it does have all the different flight controllers. I'm not going to go ahead and flash it for you on here because it's, it's pretty much redundant. Um, you just go ahead and pick the flight controller that you have and then just go ahead and click download and then it'll let you go ahead and flash uh, whatever firmware version you do want to your flight controller. Just like that. And you have all the different versions of Betaflight as well, which is awesome. So now we have all of the screens that you do have in Betaflight. We have the configuration page, the ports page. As you can see, we can set up our serial receiver. We have a configuration page here where we can set up our accelerometer, our um, gyro update frequency. Everything that you have in Betaflight, you pretty much have on here, battery and power. So we can go ahead and go through all the different screens we have here, our fail safe. Moving on, we do have our PID tuning tab. So you can go ahead and control and change your filters and everything else, uh, along with uh, like VBAT, everything. It's really, really cool, this this app. Like it just came a long way from the first time I remember getting it. Um, a receiver, we were able to do that before. Um, but pretty much as Betaflight updates, they are updating this thing right away, and we're getting pretty much all the features is what my understanding is. From looking at everything because if I if you flash for 4.3 it'll also show you where you can change um, your motor um, I know it's not out yet but you're able to actually in 4.3 uh, change what position your motors are in uh, instead of having to go into B-Heli do that um, we do have GPS if you do have an enabled GPS quad um, like I said everything you can test your motors here and like I said if you're on 4.3 I believe there's also another setting here where you can um, change around what motors what um, we have OSD, so that's that's a big thing for me is I always sometimes mess up my OSD where they are. So being in the field and being outside, being able to go ahead and change all that stuff so it's not in my eyes and not my way, really awesome. Um, and really would come in handy too if you're setting up you know a quad, you just get it, you can just bring it out to the field and set it up all the way with this thing. You don't have to make sure, you don't have to have a PC at all. So if you don't have a PC or you don't have you know a laptop, this thing is awesome. Like I just did a dump in CLI, really really cool. Really impressed with this product, and I love how they just really um, just made it more um, not professional, but more clean looking. I mean, it doesn't have that PCB where you have to solder on an XD60. It's it's really really awesome. Um, now you also can flash your B-Heli SESCs with this software. You can change the motor direction, change the uh, PDM rate, uh, do all those cool things that you can do in B-Heli S or a B-Heli Suite 
in this. Uh, there's no support currently for BHeli32. Um, you also do have iNav support, and we also do as well have this Racer 3 and Racer 5 where you can flash your uh, Racer cameras uh, by using the flight controller as well using this app. Um, but this is Vipref V, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you already use the SpeedyB app and let me know what you thought down below. Uh, but to everybody else, have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.